Hello, What's up guys? My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we are installing a trucks leveling kit on Dora here. This is not sponsored. Um, it would be cool to be. But what we're gonna do is be putting a two and a half inch leveling kit in trucks. All that on Miss Dora. And you know, come to think of it, I think I left the instructions at home. But that's okay. So first off, I want to, I just want to see, ah, maybe. I'm struggling here. Wait, 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 there. I just want to see what we're sitting at. <laughs> so we can, uh, so it's about 31 and a half inches up on the driver front. The driver rear. This way we can do like a little before and after. It's about, oh, we're just going to call that 33. It's just below it. At like 32 and three quarters. same thing on this side yep 32 and three quarters here on the passenger rear and then our front is 31 and a half so that's our before we're going to show you guys the process of how we do this and then we'll measure it when we're all done show you guys the actual difference Oh, this does mean that there are wheels and tires coming too, because those will just look silly, so... Spoiler alert! Oops! They seem to have done it. We have three people! Yep. Three people on! guys so after we got we loosened the wheels um oh they're over there loosen the wheels the lug nuts and then jack the car up got it on jack stands took the wheels off and now what we've done is disconnected our battery which you can't really see here but the battery is disconnected because you you want it disconnected because it's gonna have to relearn everything from the sensors so next we got my brother here and he is using some PB blaster. Go ahead and show us where we're going to put this PB blaster. So we want to put some up here on these four strut nuts. Ooh. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to put some on this bolt here, this bolt, and then the nuts as well. This one right here? Yep. This stuff works wonder and you kind of want this stuff to sit for a minute. So while Dylan's working on the other side, we're going to get this side prepped. And then this nut there, which is for, um, oh gosh, this, I can't remember what it's called. This one too? Anyhow, then the tie rod end, yep. That's the sway bar link. That's what that is. That's what that is. All right, there we go. So now we're done with that and we can move on to the next step. All right, so now that we've got it sprayed down and we're uh, give it some room. Yep, go ahead and pop that out now. We're gonna pop this sensor wire out. Now is that red thing gonna go up underneath this? Yeah. Okay. This one should just, there we go. So we pop it out there, and then, yep, uh, behind that plate, oh. get behind it, yep, there you go. 
kind of hard, kind of tricky. There you go. Yep, so that's out. And then I went ahead and pulled this one out too, but I should be able to just. Right, where'd you cut that on now that never take a smith this one? Right in the Oh, never down on the yep down on the ground there we go so now i've got those that's all free that's going to give us some room and now we're going to take the sway bar we're going to break that loose and that is a 21 millimeter so you got our 21 yep put that on there break it loose yep pull down you're right I can't do that. <laughs> Here, hold the camera. <clears throat> okay, now that's loose. And to get it off the rest of the way, we've got to get the only 21 that I've got in this tin and then loosen it that way. I need to just go get a set of ratcheting open-ended wrenches, closed-end wrenches. I feel that, buddy. I need just, I just need to do it. Invest. Bacteria. I need to buy myself a damn breaker bar. Go ahead and stop that. So now I've got this loose enough. I just take that nut out and then we can pop that guy. So we're gonna do our tie rod in now, which is right down here. We got the same kind of process. I believe this is 21 as well. Yep. Okay. Uh oh. Is that messing with you over there, Dylan? No, you're good, bud. You're good. We're just going to crank it as far as it'll go. All right, guys, so now with the tie rod in, we've got our 21 down here on the nut and a 10 on top of the uh, tie rod end bolt. All right, so now we got that nut off. We're just gonna go ahead and pull that out. Sometimes you might have to put your nut back on here, and if you do so, do it like this that way you can hit this with some sort of mallet and what that'll do is knock it loose get that out of the way and now we can pull this sway bar link out as well move our little brake line down and now we're ready for these two all right so now we're gonna do these two bolts here so now we've got to hit those two bolts out because they have some teeth on them all right there we go now we've got this rest in this is free and now we're going to loosen these which are all 15 millimeters we're going to do the back Hi, first Ryan. and leave up, one man? of these front ones uh as last now we're on that last bolt so i'm holding the shock while dayton is up here getting this last nut off and then once we get that we'll be free and ready to trim the bolts on this about a quarter of an inch 
and then go put the uh, put the new bracket on. So roll over to that real quick. Okay, there. And get up close here so I can show them. So what we've got now is we've got this out, and we need to cut a quarter inch off of each of these so that the bracket will fit on here and we can get the nuts on. So I got me an angle grinder and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut some of this. All right, go ahead and stop. All right, so now we've got to, now that we've got all these ends trimmed, we've got to file them down a little bit to be able to get the nut over it. So before we put the mount on, we're getting the nut, making sure we can uh, bolt it on. I'm gonna have to cut this thread here. So where it's screwing up is, is on this side. It won't let it sink onto that thread. The wrong thread. Oh, yep, I see. <clears throat> go ahead, you can end that. Okay, go. Hold the, hold the music for a second. All right, so now I've got, I've got my notch here and there's a notch on the uh, assembly here, we're just gonna call it. And all we gotta do is line those two up and then get your mount in there. But you gotta start your nuts before you put this all the way down, which is why we also have to cut it a quarter. So, we'll get all these on here. And then we'll just start sinking them down all together. And that'll bring this down here. And then we'll, we'll uh, get them Arctic Vet tight. Stay tuned. All right, so now we've got this pushed back up in here. We've got our four bolt, bolts connected, or I mean lined up. And now we've got those nuts on there and Dayton is tightening them down. So now we're going to get those tightened up. Getting torqued down. I don't know what to torque them to. We're going to, we're going to find out all what we torque all of this stuff to here in a minute. And then we'll work on getting the rest of this lined up. Oh, hold on. All right, guys, now the shock is put back in. You'll want to put this bracket in right here. You want the bolt that's inside that's already welded in on the bracket there. You want to put that piece inside of here where your sway bar link was originally at. So that way, that'll extend that out, and your sway bar link will now go into this side here. So you got your sway bar link there. And then down here, you just put your tie rod back in. You get those snug, tighten back up. Well, at least this one all the way tight. This one you want to leave a little bit loose, so that way when you go to lower the vehicle, it'll be where it needs to be at, and it'll tighten itself up. Same thing with this one, you just want to tighten it a little bit, don't overdo it, leave it a little loose, leave it a little wiggle. And you'll go back here, you'll put these back in. Remember, you always want to make sure you put the grooves in on the right side, because if you don't, it won't sit right. So you have to, you'll deal with that headache. So what you want to do is make sure your grooves are here tight, in the right spot. Same thing with this bottom one here. And then what you can do is put this brake line back on up into here. You'll have a little clip right there. Well, all right, guys, there we go. We've got everything tightened down, and now we've got the wheels on, as you can see, and we're ready to lower her down and see how this turns out. Now, Everything except for our sway bar link is tight. That needs to stay loose because we actually have to do a little bit of driving to let this settle and for that to find its new home. And so you don't want to tighten down your sway bar link. Don't do it yet. 
weight weight so we're gonna get the jack up under there lower her down and see what she looks like what if she looked like that it'd be pretty cool squad dora <laughs> jk <laughs> Well, all right, there we go. She's on the ground. This is without any driving. We need to definitely go do some driving, get this to settle. But, because, I mean, you can tell that this wheel is slanted. But, uh, it's just slightly higher than the rear. So we still got to do the rear, but there's the front. First up, loosen the lugs. No, it doesn't matter when you're loosening. You can just take them off however. Take off our wheels and then we'll come back to you guys and get a little close up of why you don't want to go on a test drive just yet. <laughs> Alright, so here's here's the problem and you can just barely see it. I'll get you guys a better view when we get this wheel off, which we're working on right now. But my caliper housing is rubbing on the rotor itself so please 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 don't drive your car far or really at all until you get the rear part of this lift kit put on so anyways we're gonna start part two now that's just the warning that we just discovered while trying to have a little fun make a little carolina squad video but that just didn't it turned out to yeah, yeah, bad things happen. So, let's roll with the process of putting on the rear. Look at that booty looking dope dick. Ooh, girl. It's fun. All right, guys, thanks Thanks for sticking around. It's uh, it's like 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, Anyhow, on the rear, the first thing that we've done is sprayed everything. I just sprayed every single bolt back here that I could see with some PV blaster again not sponsored and then what we got to do is loosen actually take this tie rod not tie rod this <laughs> sway bar link out and to do so we need a 15 millimeter and then you can fit a 17 right back there and just go ahead and loosen that guy you could also just get a 10 millimeter or 8 millimeter, I think, on this front end. Let's see, is that what it is? No, I'm sorry. That is a 930 seconds that I'm using on that, on the front of this bolt. So we take that nut, that nut all the way off of right there, comes off, and then we can just get our tie rod end out. May have to give it a little bit of love with the hammer. sorts of bind bound up but get that broke free So now I've got the tire, the sway bar link out of the way. And I've got it loosened back there. You guys can see that right there. You want to loosen those. And then you can get that out. And then you're going to come down here. And, oh, by the way, those bolts are 13 millimeter. And you're going to come over here and loosen this. Mm 
make sure that's a 21. So this bolt here is a 21. And then over on this side, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, grab my light here. And that nut right down there that you see. That guy is like an inch. I don't know. I don't know. Here's what I did. I have an inch socket here. And then I put this little angle joint on there. And just kind of held it. And held it enough to... Because uh, it's hard to... It's really hard to fit a full socket right back here. So that's what I had to do. And it worked. And now... I've loosened that, which is a 21. So back on this side, over here, this bolt right there is a 21 millimeter. And you want to loosen that as well, because we're going to be taking the spring out. And then the last thing that I'm going to loosen here is going to be this bolt. And real quick, it is not a 21. I believe this is our 19 millimeter. Is that what this guy is? Yeah, our 19. And its other side is welded on there, so you don't have to actually worry about taking it off uh, using anything on this side. So you just keep our 19 here. We're gonna loosen that puppy, break her free. All right. So before I pull this out, I've got the control arm, lower control arm, braced with the jack stand because we are about to break free the spring and we want something to help control this from just flying out of there. So this bolt is actually an 18 millimeter. So I've got an 18 here, loosen it up. Once I get this one out, I will pull that guy out all the way and the spring will come out. So now those bolts are free. I'm gonna go ahead and let the jack down nice and slow here. Maybe you guys can sit there. And watch. We're just gonna let it nice and slow. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Just like that. It go as far down as it will. Oh, shoot. The jack is free now. And the spring, I should be able to just pull that out. So I went ahead and I, I moved my sway bar out of the way. And I was able to then drop my control arm all the way down. Got the spring out. And then up at the top here, this little insulator is going to stick there but we don't need it so we can just toss it aside we will grab the new piece and it just sits right on top of the spring like so and this is where you need a buddy because now i've got to get that spring back in there and to do so I'll make sure you make sure you don't lose any fingers. Maybe you don't need a buddy. I just had one on the other side. The thing is, I'm gonna have to twist this spring. So that it will lock down. But I think just like that, now we're ready. You can actually do this alone. I just did it right there. You're gonna wanna make sure your spring is gonna lock, which is gonna be right about there. So I'm gonna give it a little turn back there in the top set. Now I'm just gonna jack it up. 
wrap it up nice and slow here. Make sure everything closes up nice and neat. Okay guys, real quick, my GoPro is gonna die so I'm not gonna be able to record all of this. But you wanna jack up your lower control or back up. Get it pushed back towards that, put the bolt back in. And then you're gonna put on this bracket. It's gonna go right where the shock is right now. It's gonna go right there and then you turn your shock mount to fit over the side of this and they have a bolt that you get to use for the bottom now so that'll go there and your bolt for the shock will go through there and I'll tell you right now it is a bear to get it on there but I did it I made it work on the other side got it done once you get that you put your sway bar back in and then we're gonna lower the car after we get the wheel back on it tighten everything down again except for the control arm bolts we're gonna leave those a little loose and then once it's on the ground we're gonna let it settle and then we'll tighten control arm bolts on both sides and then the sway bar uh, bolts on the on the frame mount and on the uh, sway bar link and that goes for both front and rear so hopefully this helps you guys out um, I know that there's a few that do just the front and luckily trucks sends a very detailed um, instructions I mean it's like four pages long so that's what got me through the rear end <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching stick around I hope that you enjoy this video and stay tuned because uh oh no oh it's still alive oh whew, i thought it died i will definitely have some videos showing what it looks like how it works what kind of size tires i fit under it afterwards and what maybe doesn't fit we'll, we'll just see we'll see where it goes anyhow god bless you guys smash that thumbs up button don't forget to destroy that subscribe and we will catch you guys in the next video have a great night or day and good luck on your project